Welcome back to Final Fantasy X, my friends. We are about to head inside uh, the temple, the Do Jose temple. Before we do that, there are two chests that we can collect outside. This one has four ability spheres. And then there's another one on the other side, which contains uh, 4,000 gil. Let's get that too. There we go. And before we head inside, uh, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but you see Luzu right there uh, in the previous segment. This is all punishment for turning from Yevon. We, s we had a pretty long cutscene where he blames himself for the death of uh, Gata, but if you head inside, and this is kind of creepy, look over there. That's Luzu, that, that's Luzu right there, you know, it's, it's the same model, uh, you see the chest, we can't get it right now, but I don't really know if they just use the same model or something, but apparently Luzu's both outside and inside, and the Luzu outside is alive, the Luzu, the Luzu here is dead, so that's kind of silly, but oh well. And now we're gonna head inside the temple where we will meet another fellow summoner. A lot more friendly than Donna, at the very least. So you're a champion of Yevon now, Braska? Here he is. I beg your pardon, but may I ask your name? I am Summoner Yuna, from the Isle of Visayt. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isar. Yeah, Kimari, you watch that little one over I'm there. I'm a summoner, like you. I'm Bussy. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. Isn't that your job as well? I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. I don't understand why all of them are in such a rush to... to beat Sin. I mean, don't they know what that implies? I mean, of course they do, but... I'd be like, oh, you wanna go and beat Sin? Go right ahead, I'll, I'll just uh, stay here and... Do something else, I guess. But apparently, and why can't? I mean, if I was a summoner, what I try to do was align myself with the other summoners and try to be seen that way. I don't think your captain's going to wake up anytime soon. There's another chest right here, containing a mega phoenix. Very nice. And that's all for the chests that we have in this uh, room. So let's head inside the temple. Hey you. Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? What? What? What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? The little kid is his brother's gu guardian, that's... Will do. 
That's really weird. Maybe. maybe. We're leaving. He seems like a black mage for some reason. Maybe some super black mage or something. Oh well, I guess I'll worry about that later. The cloister of trials lies within. Are you prepared? Yep. Let us go. The Jose Temple isn't really complicated. You just have to go back and forth a lot. All right, guardians, at attention. We are ready. All right. Let's do it. You okay? So first things first, you want to take these Jose spheres and place them on the door right here. One. And that will open the door and lead us into the next room. There we go. This temple isn't really complicated, like I said, um, they do get a little bit harder as you move on from temple to temple, but this one really isn't anything special. You wanna take the spheres from this wall and put it and place them in this wall right here. Now you wanna take this one, place it here. This will create a Jose sphere over there or create some sort of electrical discharge and now what we're going to do is drag the pedestal below that and that will start a reaction, there we go. And I guess as a result we get a super charge uh, Jose sphere which we are going to place on this hole right here. And I'll remove the Jose spheres that you placed on this wall and put them on each side of the pedestal. And now press step on the little white light on the floor. That, that will make uh, the pedestal appear here again. And now what we're going to do is drag it out into the center of that uh, electrical current. And now against uh, all recommendations you need to actually jump there and Tida should, should have been electrocuted as soon as he did that but uh, maybe the rubber of his shoes protected him or something, I don't know. I don't think they saw it that far ahead, but oh well. Let's let's go with the rubber theory. Okay, next thing. Step here again. Make the pedestal come back. Remove the spheres and now we're going to activate the Yevon symbol on the floor. So let's put the sphere here. Let's go get the other one now. Place it on the other side, right here. And now we're gonna take the supercharged Jose sphere that we used to open this wall. and place it on the hole on the left and that will make the Evan symbol activate completely at this point you could move forward but if you want the hidden treasure you gotta click or touch the glyph on the wall, the glowing glyph and you will be able to collect the destruction sphere right here after collecting the destructions here you can go up and at this point it's pretty much solved already 
all that you need to do now is drag each uh, of these pedestals inside uh, to charge up uh, well, the ceiling or whatever and that will that will create a secret open a secret entrance so as you can see it's really not that hard Be careful with the ones in the corner because they're kind of easy to miss, the angle isn't very good. So this creates the secret, the entrance to the uh, chamber of the fate. But you want to do something else before doing that and that's placing the destruction sphere right here. That creates a secret entrance which leads to the secret treasure in this temple, which is a magic sphere. A very nice reward. Uh, and I didn't want to go down, but thank you. Take me up again, please. Now that that's done, we can... We can head up. And that's that, the Jose Temple is solved. That wasn't hard at all. Stop pacing around, be calm and wait. I wasn't pacing around. Okay, Yuna, go and do your thing. Good luck. Well, well, you again. Oh. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are... are you no? Know? What of it? Can I shake your hand? <laughs> Look at his face. Arin. No, Sir Arin. You're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> and a bodybuilder. Look at Thorin. Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Brasco Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. Bartello, enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Eh? <laughs> Poor guy just wanted an autograph. Quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. Um, and now all we need to do really is... You should try to settle down. You know we'll be blamed if anything happens. I won't. I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. That's gross. Please, touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. Anyway, if you try to leave, Yuna comes out. That was pretty fast. You owe much to your father. All these guardians. And Sir Oren too. And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. You can have him if you the want. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I'm traveling on my own. As a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. We'll see. Man, why does Don have to be so... annoying? Not to, to avoid calling her something else, but I know... I know you guys know what I'm thinking. Uh, Ixion. Our new way on. Uses electric attacks, obviously. Uh, and he's rather fast. 
No matter how dark the night, morning always comes. And our journey begins anew. Ah, uh, that's nice. Uh, now we have to go inside and pick up uh, Yuna. Get ready for the journey ahead. Apparently the monkey is really... What Get the ready. hell? Where is this that monkey jumping? Uh, I don't know what he's trying to reach, Oren, but if I were you, I, I'd protect your you-know-what. Because uh, that's really creepy. So let's go get Yuna, she's taking a, no a nap to poor thing. I hate waking up people when they're really tired and I suppose this they've been working well. hard and they have to get up. Huh? I hate I'm doing that. Back to Bisaid. I can't stay here eating the temple's bread forever. I'm one of the only crusaders still here. Okay, well, we are inside. Poor Yuna is taking her nap. Oh, there's a chest here too. Nice. A remedy. She was working until dawn. Healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. No need, she'll wake up. <sighs> ah. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. <gasps> Why are you in such a rush? I'm so sorry. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Oh, oh. Don't worry. It's okay. She's moving rather fast like she has zest or something. Yo, sleepy head. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> Her hair looks about the same. Hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you, but with all that snoring. Uh, oh. mm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> Even Kimar is laughing. <laughs> oh, you too, Sir Oren? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Oren. Oh. No, the laughing really scenes laugh here like really need some time. work. It was only later that I realized the only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. No, Tita, it's because you're the only one who would laugh at such lame jokes, that's why. So let's see, get inside now, and I do believe we can collect the item now. There we go. Switch heater. I believe that's for Waka, yep. Ah, not bad, not bad at all. Let's equip that. For sure. Okay, and let's get out of here. And I'm gonna end this episode right here, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and on the next episode, we're heading to the moon flow. Rise the shoe puff. But that's for later. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see all of you later. Take care.